So um, I've got a question. This is Phyllis here. Um, and I, it, it's something that arose in speaking with another judge recently from Washington. Um, and he said that he has a duty to ensure that the reporter makes a true, complete, and accurate record of all proceedings so there can be a fair administration of justice. Audio files can be manipulated, muffled, obscured by outside sources, just like what we've just been alluding to. And also there are equipment malfunctions and the operator can fail to record proceedings. Um, in one instance, I know that um, at one courtroom, the software company felt like they'd already retained the audio files long enough and they just got deleted um, several months worth of files. Um, is that a concern for the courts? And, and is there in a procedure in process that, um, that helps alleviate these kinds of concerns? Is that, is that a concern? Are you, what is a concern to me is the fact that unless there is a good chain and the best chain is to have a court reporter in the room taking it. But if you, if you are a court doing audio, then you really need to be educated on, on the pitfalls out there, because I think what the bench sees with, with uh, audio video recording system versus a stenographer, quite frankly, is, Oh, this is a one-time price and yeah, there's a maintenance agreement, but in the long run, you're not paying this. And I think it's, I love cliches because they wouldn't be cliches if they didn't have meaning to it. You know, that's being a, a penny wise and a pound foolish. But I really don't think that a lot of us on the bench know as much as you do of these issues that you're raising with us. Yeah. And I honestly think what, what your associations at the state level or, or the county level, however far down they break up, I think it's more than educating the bench it's going to local bar associations and educating the lawyers of what's going on and, and what value you bring to the table. I think it's going to your Rotary clubs and your Lions clubs and speaking there, because not only would you find maybe some other members of, of the legal community, but now you're getting the business and the community uh, civic minded community members who are involved in these clubs educated as well and that is a long answer to say yes i think it is a duty of of the court to have a true and accurate record because without that true and accurate record I think it calls into questions even the decision a court may make because one thing your record does is it gets reviewed and people see, oh, this is why the judge did X or even though the judge did X, we overrule it and remand it back. But no, I do think there's value in that. Thank you. Thank you. That was a great answer. <laughs>